Well, today we have got a treat in store for you. Yes, we do, Viv. Today we are at Nine Cypress Court in San Carlos, a beautiful location. And we now have a beautiful house, but it started off a little... No, it didn't. It didn't look like this. So we've done some major, major remodeling at this house to get top dollar for the cellar. Let's start with the outside. What do we do? Oh boy. Well, when we got here, we had like this trench being dug all along the side, a fence falling down, nothing but weeds, cobwebs, dirt on the wall. It was just really, really in disrepair, both yeah. the front and the backyard. Mm -hmm. We don't just do interiors, we also do the garden. Not on, a lot of people don't know that. So I think we should go in now and show everyone what we did inside. Come on, everybody. Wow, a huge transformation. Check this out, Mark. Well, start off with the foyer. I mean, do you remember this was like some red tile? Yeah, it was really outdated, kind of grubby. No light fixtures. We didn't have recessed lighting. Nothing throughout the house for recessed lighting. We but, added a ton. I know, and entryways are basically first impressions for yep. the home. And you know, if you've got to make it pop in today's market, we want to hook those buyers to get top dollar for the seller. Absolutely, and a very important part of this entryway was we had the staircase here which is really old fashioned. I mean, we had some ugly old oak, you know, it's just been worn, really stained from hands on it over the years. And we actually had carpet mm -hmm. over the stairs, which pretty grungy also. So we had our wood guy come in. We went with all light wood installation. We had way more lighting also in this whole stairway. And it just now looks beautiful. And I love this. You know, just by using paint is just one of the most inexpensive ways to change the whole look of a room. We like to use Kelly Moore Carbon and it just pops. It kind of frames the room and it's a great way to start off the tour for a buyer. Yeah, definitely an impressive entrance which okay. then also leads us into... Let's go see this formal living room. Okay, so the formal living room. A lot of changes here. It was just full of stuff. Oh, yeah. You couldn't see the room for the stuff. The lighting does make a big difference. And even in this room, I believe we had some wood floors, but they were very dated. There was thin slats, very worn. And instead of just refinishing that older style wood, we went with this white oak throughout. And then of course, we've got this beautiful fireplace, but it wasn't before. It was like a boring brick, outdated fireplace. So what we chose to do here is cover it in this gorgeous herringbone marble tile. It looks really modern and buyers just love it. Yeah, and don't forget that we added the gray tile to the hearth, which looks fantastic. And always, of course, paint the interior of your firebox. It just really makes it pop. Okay, let's go now and take a look at the dining room. God, the dining room. Yeah, that's right, we had some funky built-ins, a piece of furniture here with some sort of a cabinet for China. Too cluttered, too messy, you know. Oh. Didn't like it. Oh, the big thing in the corner. <laughs> oh yes, the black hole. The black hole. The black hole. <laughs> part of the ceiling was missing. Basically, there was some plumbing work that was being done and they removed part of the ceiling and we just got to see all the plumbing from the bathroom above. If you have a house and it's for sale and you've got these things that need to be repaired, the buyer is going to make a beeline for that. That's all they're going to be looking at. They're not going to be looking at your pretty light fixtures. They're going to be fixated on all the things that are wrong. So we've got to get those things fixed. Yeah. And then again, you know, here too, added tons of lighting, a beautiful modern chandelier, and it looks fantastic. Now, we have a family room right on the other side, and there likewise, we had some issues also with some built-ins that we have to remove, so let's go. Take a look. The family room, what a transformation with this room, Mark. This was uh, likewise Full of clutter, mm -hmm. really grungy carpet in here. No lighting. A lot of stuff, stuff everywhere. And there was a big, huge TV here, completely blocking the focal point of the room, this brick fireplace. Now what we did here, very simple, just painted it. Bit of paint, but we added this gorgeous mantle, little rustic look. Yeah, made it look fantastic, you know? And again, we put in the flooring throughout. We removed those old fashioned built-in bookcases. 
really opened up this room and now it's really a cool hangout room. Yeah, and by removing sort of like funky fitted closets, it gives the room a sort of streamlined and contemporary look. We still got the kitchen downstairs. Ooh, that is huge. This is one of my favorite kitchen makeovers that we've ever done. Look at this. Oh boy. So the story here unfortunately was that the seller basically left us here in a hurry and this thing was just covered with everything. Yeah, I even had his dinner out on the countertop, but you know, no job too small for Team Vibrato. We took care of everything, not just remodeling, we got all of that stuff out. We did indeed. And you know, the house uh, is a little over 30 years old. Everything here is very original. Original appliances, original cabinets, we had to bring in everything. Yeah, and then here we had a stove, it was green. It just didn't make sense. There was a microwave above it. So we put in this beautiful, modern stainless steel stove and we put a nice oven hood fan above it. It just makes more sense. And then decorating, we picked a hexagon marble tile. It looks really modern. People love hexagon tile right now and our quartz countertop with a bit of gray in it so it kind of all carries through. It looks lovely. It really does. And you know, sound like a broken record, but lighting, again, very little lighting in here. It was so dark. You already had dark cabinets and doubt that extra light. Oh, you know what we had in here? Our favorite, we had boob lights. Yes, there did. was a boob right by there. We don't yes. like those lights, they're really outdated. Yeah. Please stop doing it. Anyway, carry on. Yeah. <laughs> nice, modern, beautiful kitchen. Looks great. Now, upstairs, part two. All right, Viv, so here we are upstairs, and I gotta say, I think we really landed the landing. I know, don't forget <laughs> landings when you're fixing up houses ready for sale. Buyers look out for these kind of things, the details. So we've got this big window here. This is visual from the street. So what do you think? Buyers are gonna see this beautiful light fixture now, and it's gonna pull them in. Yeah, it's a beautiful light and peace. And meanwhile, we got a bedroom to look at. Okay, this is the first of four bedrooms we got in this house. And what a perfect room for a child, Mark. It's a perfect room really for anybody. I mean, it's, <laughs> <laughs> it's a great room. But you know what? I love what we did here. All the closets throughout this home, we went with double doors. So now when you want to look at your closet, you just open it up. There are some sensors. Lights turn on automatically. You can see everything as opposed to trying to, you know, slide doors back and forth. And then you can close Everything. That's a very nice touch. I mean, you don't see it. lights in closets every day, do you? No, nope, and you don't see your entire closet every day either. <laughs> so, really nice feature. Good Buyers point. love it. Yep, and we also added our um, hardware throughout the house to tie the design together. Or well, again, all about the details, we like to use these black matte door handles, striker plates, door what? stops. Yeah, don't yeah. forget the door stops. Yeah. Lovely. Second bedroom, beautiful. This one's really large. It's huge, isn't it? Yeah. And again, we did the closets, you know, replace them. They have these louvre doors, bifold. I hate those doors. Oh, those I fight them. Apart I fight them. And yeah, you try to, and they don't fold. It's they get on my mess. nerves. So let's put these lovely, beautiful doors in. We brought the floor from the downstairs upstairs. Mm -hmm. All new flooring throughout, lights. A new gorgeous. baseboard all the way through, continuing Actually, the theme. Very, uh, very good point. Uh, mm -hmm. We went with the tall baseboards, just a rectangular, sleek, but makes the place feel more modern. Lovely. Yeah. I can't wait to have a look at this whole bathroom. Oh, the it bathrooms. a huge difference. I love this bathroom. I love it. You don't prefer the old one that was in here? No, the stuff and the, yeah. it had one sink. Nobody wants one sink. Lots of people, well, this will actually be, the hall bath is actually for the children. So we know who's gonna be buying this. It's gonna be a family with children. So two sinks, all the kids in here doing their teeth in the morning, getting ready for school. The biggest thing that we did in here was, what used to be there, Mark? A shower. Didn't make sense. Family, babies, don't want to be bathing them in a shower. So we put a bathtub there. It looks great. And we had a ton of light. This place was dark. Was. Remember how dark yeah. it was? It was like the Manchester Morgue, wasn't yeah, it? Yeah, so we took this down to the studs and uh, really brought in everything, modernized it. Well, I love the tile that we chose because this is a subway tile, which is 
you know, timeless. It's got a little bit of a, I call it a wibble in it, but we stacked it straight for a more contemporary look. Yeah, we use these nice, sleek, rectangular, deep tub, which is wonderful. If you want to, if you're a big guy like me, you need something a little deeper yeah. and wider. None of that cheap Home Depot no. stuff for us. And then the floor, my favorite. What was there before? I think it was linoleum, cheap looking linoleum. Nasty. Yeah. No, we put in this beautiful hexagon floor tile with a dark grout so it doesn't show the dirt with those Webby children. No, and it's just a, it's a beautiful pattern. And right now, it's a sought-out pattern by buyers. Mm -hmm. So really, it's just picking out the materials that are, at least at this point in time, desirable and sought after. A hexagon is actually a French design. Did you know that? Not many people know that. It comes from France. All right, third bedroom. And here, you know, we have just a standard bedroom. But what we did do is we did upgrade the closet. So, you know, we got these nice tall closet doors. Again, automatic lighting. Mm -hmm. and, and they're not ordinary closet doors because they're mirrored. They are, which they make the room look bigger. But what's important here is with all the other ones, we went with the hinge doors mm -hmm. here. We went with sliders just because this is a slightly smaller room and you mm -hmm. want that space so when the doors open, you don't feel mm -hmm. like you're gonna fall back on the bed. Yeah, and you're opposite the light there with the window. So obviously then the light bounces off into this small room, makes it feel brighter. And let's go see the piece de resistance. Oh, this is suite. great. Come and see. So one thing we did do here was this doorway actually used to be over here, which meant we had two hallway bathrooms. So we had no primary suite. And now we do. By simply just moving the door from here to there. Now we have a beautiful bathroom. We can check out that is part of the primary suite. Great design feature. Well done, partner. That was a very, very good call by you. The major thing that we did in here, there used to be a bathtub. So we switched the shower and the bathtub in this house. So shower for the children in the hall, parents more likely to want to have a shower. Yeah, and here again, you know, we used to have a single sink. And with the primary bedroom, two people would be nice to have two mm -hmm. sinks. We went with this beautiful gray slate looking tile, which was your choice, I believe. It was, yeah. And you did a gorgeous <laughs> job. And you know, we picked uh, elements, black uh, faucets. We went with uh, this mirror, which we actually had custom made to have a black trim around it. Black lighting really, again, pulling everything together so that it's really cohesive. And then the shower, my favorite, I picked a, a large uh, rectangular porcelain tile. So no, that's not marble, it's porcelain. You can wash it, bleach it, put soft scrub on it, it won't stain. And then I love the queen tile in the shower pan with the linear drain. Again, it just makes it look really up to date and modern. Yeah, it looks fantastic. I love this bathroom. All right, now let's go into the closet as opposed to coming out of the closet. I love a large closet. I do too, and it's not just a large closet, it is a closet that looks really designery. Same magic formula in here, Mark. Lights. Looks gorgeous, and it's a fantastic space to have within your primary suite. I mean, everybody needs home offices. We have a home office here. Beautiful, best to last. Come and check out the primary bedroom. Fantastic space now, but before, I think where you're standing was a football table. Again, a lot of stuff, but again, clearing it out, painting, new flooring, new lighting, and beautiful staging. What a difference. Okay, let's talk about this laundry room, Mark. A lot of people overlook the laundry room, but we don't. I try to stay away from mine as much as possible. <laughs> okay, <laughs> but you didn't on this one. You were very much in this laundry room, Mark. Actually, you did more here than I did. <laughs> well, I, I love this tile. It's kind of got a modern French kind of theme to it and the colors in it tie with all the other materials and finishes that we picked for the house. But here, what was that? Nothing, where there should have been a sink. There was no sink. Yeah. Just some plumbing sticking out of the wall. Put one in, it's finished. And then yeah. the little powder room, the little powder room here. Yeah, we had the very old fashioned looking vanity cabinet, which didn't even go all the way to the side, so we had these gaps on the side. So we not only get a custom cabinet made, but we had custom countertops, so it filled out the entire space. And now it looks gorgeous and really ties in with what we've done with the rest of the house. Looks beautiful. This back garden, whoa, this oh. was a huge difference. I love this. Oh, 
Oh, what a beautiful back garden, Mark. Look at this. Oh, and look at this. I mean, you remember the wreck of a deck <laughs> I that do. we used to have here? Wreck of a deck, that's a good one. It was definitely a wreck of a deck. It was like a death trap. Yeah, no, this, uh, somebody started doing a demolition job on it and never finished, and we had to come in and rebuild the entire thing from scratch. Yeah, it's a fantastic entertainment space. Now the buyer can use it for family gatherings, barbecues. It was untapped potential, so we saw that and maximized on it and just made this into a functioning outdoor space. Yeah, it's gorgeous. And this, of course, opens up to the backyard, which you couldn't even see before. We I didn't have a oh, lawn. It was like a jungle, Jumanji. Yeah. This was nothing but tall weeds, and we could see that if you removed all the weeds, there was a bunch of white pavers underneath. Yeah, and we thought, right, we're going to save some money for the cellar. We're not going to throw them out. We repurposed them and use them for a little pathway at the front. It looks gorgeous out front. And yeah. then back here, too, I mean, not only did we install the lawn, we had to put in a whole new sprinkler system, and then we actually brought in a bunch of mulch to cover the soil after we removed just a tremendous amount of weeds, removed an old kid's play structure. That was a death trap. That was a sure. death trap. Yeah. And then we found that we had those raised oh, planter beds. Oh, they're lovely. We've got like lovely fruit and veggies growing there now. And it's just nice for the hobby farmer, buyer out there. They're just going to be loving on that. But I really love the brick pathway that we've got all the way around. That was all hidden. Give it a good old power wash. Look at that. It's beautiful. It does look great. It, yeah, it was grungy. It was grungy. But now, look at this. We've got a beautiful, gorgeous, large yard. I know. Somebody's going to love this house. All right, Viv. So, like... You know, a substantial number of the listings we do, this sadly was a listing where the owner passed away. But what we're capable of doing is the trustee for this estate actually lives in New York. And that's one thing we're capable of doing is we work with people that are out of the area who are now responsible for selling a home in the area which needs a substantial amount of work and we can take care of 100% of everything for them. Not just upgrading the home, we can get things shipped out of state, we can get things organized, sold, whatever is needed, we are there. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, all they need to do is just take out what they want and uh, give us a key or just point out what they want and we can get it all packaged up and shipped off to them. But uh, you know, a lot of people don't know that we don't just do interiors of homes. We also do landscape and we do the back garden. We look at the whole picture. We take the whole property as a whole, make everything look cohesive and pull together. So there's a flow in the home. So when the buyer walks in, they immediately fall in love with it and want to make a great offer for the seller. Yeah, because one thing is for certain, in today's market, buyers want turn Key. And that's what we're really trying to do is we're trying to offer the sellers the opportunity to have a turnkey property. And this is what we did here. We came up with the budget for the alterations, upgrades that we thought were necessary really to get top dollar for this property. They approved it, living on the other side of the coast, the sellers in New York, and that's it. We ran with it, we stuck to our budget, and we sold the home for them. Yeah, it was low stress, low hassle. They didn't have to front the money. We took care of everything. And not just that, because you're a contractor and I'm a designer, we're licensed, insured, and bonded, which gave them a huge peace of mind. And it's very important because you don't want somebody uninsured. No cowboys. No, you don't want to Absolutely. do that. So yeah, who are you going to call? Not Ghostbusters. You're going to call Vibrato. And we're going to be here every step of the way to make sure your home looks its best when it goes on the market. On to the next. High five, partner.